Ortmeier, fifth and world's strongest man last year. Oh, and it's Ortmeier who's up and away and... Second place, you happy with that? No. Second place is first loser, that sucks. But this is all Ortmeier. The Texas Stone Man has done it. It's timber frame carry. 800 pounds, six foot eight. From Denver, Colorado. Against Terry Hollins. And there's very few men who are bigger than Terry. Six foot six himself. As Gregor Edmonds, our head referee, gets us underway here. And both men struggling to find the balance on these awkward implements. Made by an Amish house builder. 800 pounds in weight. That's uh, getting up close to uh, 380 kilos. Oh, and Brian Shaw picks it up again. Once you drop it and turn around, it's hard to get it up. But uh, Shaw over the line. He's faster than Felix. 25.76 seconds. Helen's still trying to keep this going. Still has time, but you can see his grip is in real trouble. Shaw in a commanding position now, though. Can Holland's do any more? No, he's stopping there. 67 feet. Brian, be honest, you knew you were going to do well in this event. It is probably your best event, right? Yeah, you know, I, I definitely have one of the best grips in the world. I got off a little, little bit on that. As you saw, I was tilting like crazy. But, you know, I'm... Luckily, I got a, not, a good enough grip to hold on and got it done in, in a you know, pretty easy run. So we'll see that. Hopefully, it'll hold up. Well, hopefully, you still have uh, Poundstone, Kuklaev, and those guys. What do you reckon? Uh, I don't think they can get me. I think we got it. You heard it. It's here for Brian. Travis Ortmeier, the big Texan. Sebastian Taking on Sebastian Venter, second at World's Strongest Man in 07. Ortmeier, fifth in World's Strongest Man last year. His first attempt at it. Oh, and it's Ortmeier who's up and away, and Venter already in trouble here. Ortmeier nearly at the turn. Sebastian Venter, who's a sort of shot put champion in the past, training for athletics again, and perhaps he's just lost a little bit of absolute strength. Sven Carlson in the background there, just making sure they cross the line. Ortmeier gets the pick up, he doesn't want to drop this again. He's not as fast as Shaw, that time's gone, but it's quick. 27.83. And Venter is barely off the start line. Great effort from Ortmeier. Mr. Ormar in the second place. Second place, you happy with that? No. Second place is first loser. That sucks. <laughs> I got to hand it to Brian, though. He had a good run. He was awesome, wasn't he? How could you have done that any better? Well, I could have taken less time on the turnaround. Yeah, Regripping probably killed me a couple seconds. That's okay for now. Well done. Well done. Our next pairing are the two favorites for many here, Michael Kuklaev of Russia, who's come over to the world's strongest man scene for the first time up against Derek Poundstone. Very friendly rivalry here. Kuklaev, though, gets a slower pickup than Poundstone, who really is on great form at the moment. Second at world's strongest man last year, Mohegan Sun champion. And it's definitely Derek at the turn. He's going to beat Brian Shaw's time. Oh, he's gone down, though. What a quick pickup that was. And Poundstone's back on track. He takes it. 21.95, 100 feet. And Koklaev is in all kinds of trouble down the other end. Wants to get one of those top three slots to go to World's Strongest Man. The podium from this competition will guarantee themselves a place in the World Final. Misha Kuklaev, no, 60.7 feet. So Aventu is the Apollon's axle. And we're going to go for a world record tonight. 186 kilos. That's over 407 pounds. And the clock is on. It has just 45 seconds in which to make the lift. Oh, nearly. Six foot eight, those long arms. Oh, so close to the world record. 
That bar is so slippery. What can Venter do? Famous for having a big overhead log. Again, though, six foot seven. Oh, and the Polish competitor looking underpowered today. No one then has done this uh, world record weight. End up having a lot of men drawing on the same points. Well, just 22 years old, what could Johannes Arho of Sweden do? Can he get the world record? To his chest, no problem. Can he stabilize? Yes, he has. He gets the down signal. It's a new world record, and the young Swede has nailed 409 pounds. And do you think he's happy? Well, the crowd getting a real show here. Well, Magnus Samuelsson, the former great Swede, has passed over that mantle to this young man, Johannes Arho of Sweden, world record holder in a Pollen's axle. Travis Ortmar, tough act to follow for the American now on the same weight. Can he equal? Oh, yes, he can. Two men on the world record. And that is above Ortmar's personal best. Well above it. Kokhlaev, of course, clean and jerk 250 kilos. That's over 60 kilos more, but that's on an Olympic lifting bar. Look, he's having terrible trouble with his grip. Going double overhand now. Well, because the bar doesn't spin, the weights don't spin on the end. Makes it very awkward for an Olympic lifter. But can he learn? And can he learn in time? Only 45 seconds on the clock. <laughs> well, that's what he's going to have to practice back in Russia. Derek Townstone then, last out of this uh, new world record level. We know we have to go heavier now because Ortmar and Arho have made it. Can Townstone join them? Yes, locks out the left arm. He said he was worth at least 20 pounds more than this, and uh, he seems to be right. Poundstone nails the 409. Difficult now for the judges. What weight do they choose? Who wants to see the world record extended? You. So, D Derek, you've managed to equal the world record there. A few of you have. How much more do you think you have in the tank? I told you before, 427, the full apparatus. <laughs> you really think so? I don't know what everyone else can do, I know I can do it. All right, let's bring it on, let's check this weight up. Well, Johannes Arjo has pulled out. He's not going for this 414 pounds. Just Ortmeier and Poundstone. To extend the new world record by five more pounds. Just misses the jerk. That was very close to Ormar. Very close indeed. Now, Travis, you said that that used to be one of your worst events, yet you just set a world record. I mean, that, that's got to feel unbelievable. Now, how did that weight feel? I know it was close, but what do you, what, what's going through your head right now? You know, it didn't feel bad, but I think maybe just another couple minutes between the two lifts and let the body catch up a little bit, and I think I might have gotten it. You know, that, that's a great point. I don't think these people realize, too. Yeah, they're on the clock right away. You have to lift right away, so you're not getting any rest. So, great job, and let's see if Derek can do it. Time on, then. Poundstone. 45 seconds in which to do this. And if anyone can do it, it's definitely Derek Poundstone in front of his home crowd on their feet. 414 pounds. Yes, it goes overhead. 
He gets the signal to put it down. And he's taking it for a walk. No problem. The new world record holder on his own. Derek Poundstone, 4-14. appreciate the fans, that's what I, uh, that's why I do this, you know, <laughs> that's what makes all the pain in the gym worth it, you know, when people come out and yell and scream. So, two events, one world record, can he keep this streak going? Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of good athletes, but I feel good. Like I said before, I won the Arnold a couple months ago, and I was in the best shape, I'm in the best shape of my life now, because uh, the last thing I want to do is lose my own backyard. You have to pick this near 400 pound block up and carry it up and down 50 feet as many times as possible. So we move on with Boris Harrelson of Iceland. And he's up against Terry Hollands. Hollands, despite being a very big man, surprisingly good at this. Well, a little bit of gamesmanship here from Hollands, who wants to see what Boris is doing first. And he gets a word of warning from the referee. Now that's uh, quite smart playing from Hollands because he can now chase Harrelson. He knows exactly what he's got to beat. Well, they both make it past the 50 foot mark. Harrelson, though, slowing up at the 100 foot mark, and Hollands is speeding up. Very impressive for a 180 kilo man. 400 pounds Terry goes past the 150 and Boris falls short of that and looks exhausted 134 Hollands hits 200 and Harrelson almost staggers in his way there completely shattered from that up to 250 and Terry Hollands is really laying out a benchmark for the others now 253 for Hollands of Britain. He looked like he could have done maybe more as well if he was pushed. Terry, you needed that. Yeah, I mean, I'm right in the drop zone at the moment. Um, obviously, I don't want to get cut after this event, so just had to go as far as I can. And yeah, I'm, I mean, it's a pretty good distance, but there's loads of great guys to come, so who knows if it'll hold up. Short. Long arms. Perhaps he can wrap them around that big stone. And Mark Felix. Felix has been very good at this event in the past. He's got quick feet, Felix. And he's uh, struggling a bit with the pickup though, and it's Shaw. Look how high he gets it. And he does. He gets his arms in a very good position, Brian Shaw. Six foot eight with very long arms. And the stone just doesn't look anywhere near as big against Brian Shaw as it does on the other athletes. Already up to 150 feet. He's going to be chasing Terry at 250. Felix at the 150 mark and Brian Shaw now at 200. He's got to make it to the line and turn and come back four feet to beat Hollands. Felix slowing, he doesn't make 200, 179 for Felix. And it's his touch and go, can Shaw get to that line and turn around? Giving it everything. Oh. Gets 249.4 feet, puts him into second. Total exhaustion. He really did give it absolutely everything, Brian Shaw. I really wanted to try to match Terry there. Got close, but we'll see. The two, the two big men doing really well in an event huge men normally don't do well in, isn't that right? Hey, you know, we, Terry and I both have real good foot speed, and you know, we kind of break the mold of 
the bigger guys, so <laughs> we're coming for the smaller guys, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. Match pairing out. Travis Ortmeier up against Sebastian Venter. And Venter looks like uh, he's going to miss the cut here. We go down from 12 athletes to 8 after this event. And this stone, believe you me, 400 pounds. That's the equivalent of a heavy, heavy motorbike crushing down on your chest. So difficult for these athletes. They made the pickup okay, and Venter looks a bit better here. Overshot the line there by a few feet. That's wasted energy. Very difficult to see over these rocks, though. Ortmeier coming up to the 150-foot mark. So too Venter. This is a good heat. Both men going strong. One hand to Venter there. He just seemed to give up. Well, perhaps he was blacking out a bit. Safer just to drop it. Ortmeier passes 200, comes towards 250. Can he turn and go past Hollands? He only needs three feet. He's done that. That must be five or six. Yep, 255.5. Ortmeier, the new leader. You're in first place, buddy. Well done. That's good news. Thank you. <laughs> You know, came out here with a cold, traveled and competed four weeks in a row so far. And having a cold, man, you got no, no air in your chest. And then you got that thing sitting on it. So you managed to beat Derek Poundstone in Madison Square Garden. Can you pull it back today? Of course. Pound cake's nothing. <laughs> to make friends and influence people in Connecticut. Derek Poundstone, so popular here. A local policeman and the world number one in strongman. Pudzianowski tore his bicep earlier in the season, not doing the Giants live season because of that. Johannes Arho, the new upcoming strongman. Both of these guys fit and athletic. You can see Derek has a bit of a technique for picking it up there. And one thing he does is he just moves as fast as he can, Poundstone. Tries to go as far as possible before he gets tired. Passes the 100 foot mark. So too Arho. 150 feet. He's going to have to go down and up again if he's going to equal the likes of Ortmeier and Hollands. Still looks strong though. The crowd getting behind him here. Arho's gone down 182.2 feet. He turns at the 250 mark, goes past Hollands and Ortmeier, and he was good for at least 50 feet more. Poundstone takes his third event. So we move on with Misha Kuklaev. Now this is something the national weightlifting champion of Russia should be very good at. Well, he's being asked to pause at the bottom so he can't try and bounce the suspension and cheat the pickup. Oh, good straight back. 330 kilos in the hand. Starting to get hard now as we move towards double figures. Chasing that figure of Louis-Philippe Jean, 17. Jean probably could have done another one. He just ran out of time at the 60-second mark. McClive catching his breath now. Still goes up easy enough. 12 reps. 13, a bit more of a struggle. And time's ticking away here. 14 reps. And uh, calls it a day there. A few seconds still left on the clock. 14 reps for the Russian. Travis Ortmeier wastes no time. Straight out here. Ready to get on with it. Only one thing on my mind. First place. Never compete for anything less. Second place is a first loser. 
And of course, Derek gets to follow Travis Ortmeier here, so he knows how many Travis will do. Loves this event, though. Prefers it to a normal deadlift in front of him on a bar. This tends to suit the man with strong legs. It's almost like a leg press. Much quicker than Koklaev to the 10 reps. Of course, they, they call him the Texas Stone Man. He'll be looking forward to the last event, the Atlas Stones. But he really needs to start gaining some momentum here. A big score here and then in the log. And who knows, he could turn it around. He could still pressure Poundstone. But he suddenly hit the wall. 15 goes up. 16, one more to equal Louis Philippe, 17, and that's it, he's over, equal first. Great effort from uh, Ortmar, he did his best there, and if Poundstone beats him now in this one of his favorite events, I think he'll have to say Poundstone is just the better man at the moment. Someone there just shouting out, give me 20, Derek. And all he's got to do is get 18 for the victory. Look at the vascularity. Carrying very little body fat. Looking very like uh, Marius Pujanowski. Previous winner of the Mohegan Sun. 15 reps. Getting closer to that golden 18, that's all he needs for the victory, 17, he's done it, 18 reps, he, he's giving more, 19, 20 reps, he's enjoying this, a man in peak condition. So our new leader, 20 repetitions, Derek, you are on fire my friend, there isn't a single event here you're struggling with, your back, your back as you said, it's, just, it's better than anyone's now, it must feel good to be at the peak of your career right now. It feels good, I, I think uh, I'm just scratching the surface, you know, it's, this sport is more mental than anything, because I'm not the biggest guy out here, I've got the biggest heart, you know, I think. I kill myself in training. Got a great family, a great girlfriend. And uh, who asked for 20 reps? That was for you, whoever asked for it, you know? So we're down to our penultimate event. We missed the log press for repetitions. 140 kilos has to be lifted up and overhead as many times as possible. That's 310 pounds. Now, Sven, what are the differences between this and the axle press? Well, Colin, here we have a wooden log. It's not really balanced like a metal log would be. And it's handled inside and it's a very long log as well. So it's going to be a tough, grueling event. Let's see who is the strongest log lifter here. And Kuklaev. He only gets four. That's pretty disappointing for the Russian. Down in eighth position overall. He needed a big event there. Brian Shaw. Long way to go for him to get it from floor to overhead. As to Terry Hollands. Brian looking to consolidate that position on the podium in third place overall. Of course, Hollands. And he'll look for a big number here if he's going to get up into the top five. I think his chances of making uh, top three, Hollands, are pretty poor now. He, of course, came third last year. Up goes Brian Shaw. Nailing number three. And Terry looks like he's cramping a little bit. He's had problems with that in the past. These contests go so fast. It's hard to catch your breath. Number four for Shaw and Hollins does the third. With a very similar weight last year in the World's Strongest Man final. Terry didn't get any reps, so uh, at least there's an improvement on that. He's really built for singles, Terry, not for repetitions. 
Oh, just misses it on the whistle. Ryan gets four, Terry three, and disappointment for Terry, who looked like he had just about enough in the tank to get that four. When you've got Sven Carlson refereeing you, you really have to take it on the chin. Sven's not going to give away any easy reps, former world record holder. Ortmeier against Felix. Ortmeier on the left, Felix on the right, and it's the Texan who's first up. And again, Felix from Blackburn in England, formerly from Grenada, formerly a bodybuilder as well. Travis goes up, number four. Felix two looking solid, oh, little stagger there. Gets his legs into it, and no, he doesn't. So Ortmeier out on five. Another one, and he's in the lead. Tied with Johannes Arho on six reps. Yeah, he's done it. Felix, though, run out of power and time. Three reps for the Brit. So that brings out the final pairing. <laughs> Someone calling for 10 there. Louis Philippe Jean. This is a very good event for the Canadian. I think he could push Poundstone here. Well, he's first to, to getting an overhead, but Poundstone was more clinical. Poundstone doesn't even rest on his shoulders. Look at the power. Up it comes, and he just keeps pressing it. A very unique technique, and that needs some wild power to pull off. Sean does three. Poundstone up on five. Surely Derek can do seven. Equals Ortmeier and Arho. This one for the victory again. Oh, and as easy as the first one. Sean does five. Up goes eight. These are just for show now. Can he get a ninth? Time running out. Jean does six, and that is quite a crucial wreck to do. Poundstone finishes on nine, and Jean manages to tie with Johannes and Travis Ortmar. Look at the technique of Poundstone. Bang! Straight off the waist, up hey, over the chest. Doesn't rest it at all. It's, give me one word about this guy. What do you think? It's, I want to be like that next year. <laughs> I could train forever. I'd never be like that. Derek, man, five out of five. Let's talk about the stones. Six out of six. Is it possible? Oh, yeah, it's possible. You know, you have an advantage when, you're, when you have a lead because it gives you a different mindset. I'm used to coming from behind. You know, anyone that knows me knows that. We just tend to screw up an event here and there. Today I'm firing on all cylinders. The crowd definitely helps out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Now, Derek, last year, no one did these stones. This year, no one did them in Madison Square Garden either. Please, are you going to do them for us, all five, the heaviest set ever this year? Absolutely, absolutely. I know I can do it, hopefully it's a race. Hope these guys have a, a little bit of fuel left in the tank. We put on a show for you guys. Heaviest stone series ever, so you guys got to be nice and loud for us. If you, don't, if you don't do it, Ormar says he certainly will. <laughs> oh, I know Travis, he's a good stone loader, but I think I got him today. Where is he? He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> hey, listen, let's hear for Derek. Five out of five. Just a few tenths of a second in it. Louis Philippe Jean needs to nail a good set of stones here if he's going to stay in third position ahead of Brian Shaw. Top three will go to World's Strongest Man automatically. So something more than prize money at stake here, more than pride. It's a chance to go to the grand final.
Shaw goes up, drops the third on. He's quick in the Louis Philippe Shaw. And uh, he threw it on so hard, it went on to Shaw's platform. Up goes the fourth. And Shaw could do this fifth stone. Time's ticking away, though. 25 seconds to go. He's got to get that tacky glue on his hands right. And then give it a whirl. Up goes number four for Louis Philippe Jean. This is all going to come down to points as to who's on the podium. I think it'll work out. Shaw will come third. Can he get this fifth stone though? No one's ever done it in the history of Strongman. This 475 pound stone up it goes, but was the time over? I don't know. The referee is looking at his watch. Shaw does four stones. That we know for sure. He doesn't even know yet. What a huge call that was from Edmonds. Brian, you were one second late. I think you should give it to me. That's what I think. Hey! Well, I don't think Gregor Edmonds has made many friends here. Probably not welcome in Denver, Colorado either. But it was the fair call. Derek Poundstone, Mohegan Sun champion last year. He will be champion again this year. Up against Travis Ortmeier. These two guys pretty much settled as first and second now. This is more about pride. Poundstone always says it's in his name. He is the best stone lifter. But Ortmeier calls himself the stone man. And he's leading right now. Up goes three. Poundstone trying to keep up. This looks like being the first event. Poundstone can lose. He's won five out of five. But this is all Ortmar. The Texas Stone Man has done it. And in a time of 26.18 seconds, totally pumped. And can Poundstone finish on the fifth? Oh, just a couple of inches away. But unlike World's Strongest Man, when he uh, just missed the podium by a couple of inches with the fifth stone, this time it doesn't matter because he is the Mohegan Sun champion. He doesn't need to do it. Four stones in 24 seconds. And Derek Poundstone is the champion again. Hey, you did all five. What a great way to end. And your second. <laughs> I got nothing left. I had nothing left going into that. I don't know who came out and did those stones for me, but he, he did a hell of a job, and I thank him. <laughs> but really, I got to hand it to Derek here. He's on fire all day. Couldn't let him win every event, though. What a performance, Derek. You must be loving this. A great day on home soil. Absolutely. I couldn't ask for anything better, you know. Uh, you know, if I just went into this last event, I mean, having already sewn it up, all I want to do is load that last stone. Missed it before. Missed it in Madison Square Garden. Missed it here last year. So that's all I wanted. That nah, sucks, you know. Hey, hey, can you win World's Strongest Man this year? Oh, absolutely. That's why I'm uh, out here doing this. Uh, I want to, you know, you don't compete to lose. I want to win it this year, you know, no more second places. USA 1, 2, 3.